How's it guys? Welcome back to FX Rhapsody. Today we're going to be looking at another powerful indicator that is on TradingView. Um, this indicator can be used to trade NASDAQ, which um, there's a lot of traders that trades NASDAQ. Like I said, very powerful indicator. Um, but before we um, get, go to the charts and look at the indicator, just go visit my website. Um, for those of you that's getting started into trading, there's some nice video categories there. Um, you know to get started and then some trading strategies and all that kind of things just go visit my website and go down down there also preferred brokers especially if you're trading nasdaq um, these guys are brilliant with their spreads and their margins on nasdaq and also you know the support is just amazing all right so let's hit the chart so we are looking at nasdaq on a 15 minute time frame now i've tried out this indicator on different time frames you can just change your settings and try it out yourself, but I found on the 15 minutes and the settings that I'm going to use, it works perfectly. Now remember, with any other indicator strategy, doesn't matter what you trade, you need to have your risk in place. And meaning by that, use your stop losses, you know, so that you don't get tapped out and blow your accounts. Rather trade with risk, um, you know, rather have one trade tapped out or two trades stepped out and then the rest, uh, you know, two out of the five and then three winning trades. So, you know, so that you can stay alive in the market. Okay, so let us look at the indicator. So all you can do is go to indicators and you type in your order block. You type in order block and we're looking at the order block with signals. All you do is tap on that and then you go to your settings which is over here and i want you to change the sensitivity to 30. now you can change your backgrounds and what you know for your bullish and, and bearish order blocks you can change it to any color that you want i just don't like my stuff to stand out so much otherwise it makes the whole screen look all messy so i'm just looking at that and I'm just changing my colors accordingly. Okay. So once you've done that, all you do is click OK. Now, for bullish, um, for bullish indicators, for the buy signals, if I can say that, on this um, indicator, mine will be green, and then you know, for any bearish signals, will be my um, pink color. Right, so how it happens or what happens on this indicator it is it creates an order block. For those of you that's um, familiar with order blocks, you know, this is basically an indicator doing that. And for those of you that don't know anything about order blocks, you know, this is helpful that you don't have to go and learn order blocks, you know, all from the start. It will indicate the order blocks for you. Again, when you go to your settings and you look at your sensitivity, you can play around with the sensitivity to see how many order blocks given so go going on to higher time frames you might change it and then lower time frames exactly the same so you can play around with those settings but like i said on a 15 minute time frame nasdaq this works very neatly or very nicely so basically what happens is the you know the order block will form and then price will shoot up and then come back into the order block and once it goes into the order block um you know touches it make a week it doesn't need to close then you will place your trade again like i said you need to have your risk in place so meaning by that um, with this strategy or this indicator if i had to place my long so the order block was created over here you can see price going up and then coming down once it starts hitting that order block i will place my buy signal and my um and my um stop loss will be just outside this order block i'm not i'm having tight stop losses okay like this just outside guys and then the rest where you climb out it's all depending on you but again with this one you can see that the price came up it came down and it tapped my stop loss okay because i have my risk in place so i lost the first trade on this but as you can see price going up and all you need to do is have patience guys just patience in this indicator you can see price going down again hitting that order block section and that is where you place your your trade again losing my first trade 
on this indicator just on this one that I'm showing you just minimizing a little bit and as you can see the second trade is just you know fantastic with the amount of pips that you make right so again with trading risk you might have lost the first trade but then the second trade makes up for that now as you can see price going up going up forming a, another order block signal right in actual fact as you can see it created this order block signal price going down into that order block signal so that is where you place your buy right there very nice neat tight stop loss just outside of that box and as you can see price going up coming down again creating another signal for you to enter or another entry for you to enter and if you draw this to the side you can see how you would have caught all these pips okay going up again i'm going to show you a trick <coughs> so if you are in a trade <coughs> excuse me if you are in a trade like this and you're holding your trade right price going up and it forms another order block and you're not out of this trade yet keep holding it because if it forms another order block and it goes into that area you can either keep holding onto this trade and maximize your profits okay just going to draw it to the side and i'll show you so currently you are in that trade you see another order block forming and it respects it where you you can either have two things now or you can keep on you know riding your first trade or you can enter another trade you know with this keeping your first one open and then for me what i would have done is i would have kept my first one open if it respects this order block i would have entered a second order block or a second signal okay so you have your first one open now i'm opening my second one then my first my first um entry over here my first order i will place my stop loss just below that again so now you have got all this profits that you're gaining plus you've got a second order open with some more risk in place so as you can see price going up it's coming down now <clears throat> we disregard this one because we're already in the sale uh, in a buy all right but again now you could have climbed out on the trade because you're happy about the profit you've made now you can see price creating another order block down here going up not coming back into that not retracing back into the order block so you stay out of it so price going up again and now it's going up and down up and down and over here you can see price forming a order block going down almost hitting it you can either enter when it's very close or you can just leave it out going creating an order block and over here you can see price going up creating order block price going out you might have lost that first trade okay now you've made a lot of profits on the first two trades already so very very tight stop loss guys i mean look at that the nicer the smaller the order blocks the nicer it's going to be tradable because your risk is so little so you lost the first one okay again let's just have a look so you place it there where's my okay so you might have lost lost what was that seven pips okay out of that but with your second one you do exactly the same it comes back it, it comes back again you place your trade again where's my tool there we go <coughs> so you have the same risk in place that previous seven pips or well, this one five let's just move it up a little bit because now it is hitting that area so it goes into the area and as you can see you're maximizing out of that trade look at that bam just zooming it out a little bit so you can see you know price going retracing back to that order block and you end your trade and you go up so now you go up and up and up now you start seeing price drawing back again so now it's creating a bearish signal for you bearish order block price going up hitting a high coming down now it's creating a lower low lower high low low so now it's turning in the market on the 15 minutes so now it's creating a bearish signal for order blocks price going up created the first order block not retracing back all the way so you stay out of that trade creates a second order block price going down price going down retracing back into that order block and this is where you sell right there just patience guys don't trade it when it hit, doesn't hit that order block okay so now you can see price going down you've caught this nice little 
move to the downside. You can see price going up again, creating a order block once again. Okay, price retracing, not slide, not to that order block. I would stay out. I have patience, you know, creating goof, goof. So now again, we're sitting with, you know, price looking like it wants to turn. So it created a big order block. We want to see if it really retraces back to that area, but we will have to look and see. Very simple indicator to use, guys. It All it needs is patience and risk management, and you will take your um, take your money home. You will get those pips. Um, if you use your risk, again, you can see that those um, stop losses is very tight. So out of five trades, even if you lose three out of the five and you win the two next ones, you take profits on the two next ones, it will you know, you will have a big profit margin or profit win on your trades. You will, you know, it's because of that risk being so small. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this indicator. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, um, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and uh, I'll definitely be sending some more indicators your way and some more trading content. Guys, I hope you are having a wonderful week. Stay safe and happy trading, guys.